to the very end of time. Wherever you are, give praise to the voice, and wherever you may go, encourage others to hear it. Whatever body and land you may be born into as your recompense, whatever the conditions for teaching others, your work is the same as Amida Buddha's, without any difference. The aspiration is boundless. May the Buddha recognize and know this. Namanda. These days um, were very special to me. I consider my second Tokudo, mainly because I have a friend in my room that uh, is named Nishiyama. And uh, I got all these days thinking about why Nishiyama was in my room. <laughs> Days and uh, all my work, my six pages that I wrote in Brazil, they were lost <laughs> because Nishiyama was the wind of the Dharma. Nishiyama, Dharma breathes, so you have to change. You can't say what you planned. Now it's another thing. In Nishiyama, uh, my second Tokudo, he has made me think about all my life after Tokudo, that was two years ago. I shaved my hair. I had, I had a very beautiful hair. And uh, I felt very ugly. But uh, I decided to shave my hair because I like rituals. And I think that women and men, they are equal uh, in the Dharma, so I shaved my head. But when I arrived in Brazil, what I noticed is that uh, my bono was still there. I was so confused, so uh, that situation was so, so strange for me because I married a, a Kaikyoshi from Brasilia and uh, I went to the temple, to live in the temple. I was a graphic designer. I, all my life I work and uh, I changed my mind completely and uh, decided to do Tokudo. And the, the temple life is a transformation for a Western. Uh, we see, I think that uh, what's really important to be a Buddhist is not to be a Buddhist, yes. When you go to a temple, you are not worried if you are a Buddhist or not a Buddhist. You do services all the time. You work. Of course, you study. I study too much. But uh, I don't understand the teachings very easy because I have, I am a very uh, uh, difficult person. So I need to suffer a little more than most of people. So uh, temple life was a great experience to me. 
And uh, my temple is very different from other temples because it's a very big temple. A Japanese temple in Brazil, the capital of Brazil, and uh, many people go, go to the temple, people from many religions, people uh, from many uh, classes, and they go to the temple uh, during ceremonies, during uh, Obon, uh, during uh, the end of the year. And uh, I don't live in a temple now. I live in a heritage site because now the temple is a cultural <laughs> heritage site. So uh, what I see now is that the Dharma is not only about words. Yes, words are important. Words are our understanding, human understanding. But there are so many things that uh, constitute the Dharma. For example, strike the, the Bonsho every day. I strike the Bonsho twice a day. Every, every moment I go to Bonsho, I feel that uh, I remind myself of the Dharma. And I remind people around the Dharma. So this is uh, an activity that uh, has no words, has no meaning, but uh, it changes you and it changes people that are around you. Nishiyama that is there, and Nishiyama that was there two years ago. <laughs> Nishiyama uh, is a reminder that uh, we are never uh, ready for the Dharma. Dharma is so fresh that every moment you change, every moment Dharma ask you for new things, ask you for new attitudes. You are reborn into a new body. You are reborn into a new land. That's the meaning of the Dharma. And uh, I appreciate the, this moment with Nishiyama and with all of you. And I'm very thankful because uh, for the first time, I know the meaning of art is to be grateful. This is so difficult, yes, but I'm so grateful. And uh, I'm so grateful because here I met Mauricio. We live in the same land. We live uh, uh, in Brazil, yes. And uh, we never met how here we met. So. Uh, I'm grateful. Simply, I'm grateful. Namaste.